Contemporary Practice, Exercise 4.2, Organising Your Archive. Now my second um, phase is um, to, again connected with my personal um, archive and I'm going to use the theme of ancient archives and because I have a particular interest um, and always have done since a child on Egypt I'd selected um, this as a theme now I had to be very very careful because I didn't want to make direct connotations so I continued with the uh, layering um, of my drawings and just kept everything quite simple with the abstraction of where I um, had taken my inspiration from so we can see I'd worked on some um, communication and ideas and links um, to the work. With the drawings, what I did this time is I did work in a quicker manner so that I could get instant mark making down on pieces of paper. And I do kind of quite like the idea of overlaying with the paper so that you can generate different types of mark making find it quite useful to work in a quicker manner um, and I do like the idea of working with grease proof paper and a tracing paper so I feel as though it adds to the connotation of things possibly being translucent and, and disappearing um, ghosts and, and all of that which kind of Life after death um, within the Egyptian um, ancient world history does fascinate me. So as we can see, I just kept the drawing relatively consistent. Now, the one thing that I did want to do with the whole of this organising of the archive was to keep everything in the same manner. So keeping and working with layering, mark making making some of the images more abstract, lines and so forth. Just wanted to change my drawings. And again, each page is consistent with links and working with ideas and so forth. Some of the archives progressed a little bit longer with drawings and so forth but again these were um, all aiming to work together and then once again they will be stored in my box so that my archive is organised.